Hey guys, Gina here. I was finally able to go hit up a couple of thrift stores, a few garage sales and an estate sale this month. I was so excited because I've been waiting so long for things to open back up. I did get a couple of things and I wanted to show you. So let's check out because I have a whole tub full of goodies. So where should we start? Should I just start pulling stuff out? I've got a few things on the side. I'll show you guys those first. Any of you guys are Haunted Mansion fans? I found this ice cube tray. We actually put some ice in it yesterday. I cleaned it up and put some ice in it yesterday. I'm, I don't have many silicone things, so that was pretty cool to find. And I think I got that for like a dollar, maybe less. I also found these cute little pins. These are Hallmark pins. There's a ghost with a tombstone and a little skeleton friend. Now these used to work back in the day, but now they don't. So maybe I can open them up and try to fix them. I think this guy's little arms wiggled and jiggled, but it still look pretty cute. I'm sure this guy lit up. It's got a little mechanism back there. Speaking of ghosts, I found this ghost candle holder. I thought it was super cute. You can put your little taper candle in there. This is by, oh, it just says hand painted. Haha. <laughs> it's by hand painted, but it's got some wax residue in there. I gotta clean some of this stuff up. It's been sitting cooking in my in the trailer where I put most of this stuff. So if there were any germs on it, they're probably gone now. Next, I was given some Halloween stuff, and this was in that, and it says yeets, which I think means treats, <laughs> but it's a cute little witch tin bucket. You can put little treats in there, or yeets, whatever you like. <laughs> then I found a little kitchen witch, and this one has their little clip right there so you can attach it to whatever you want. Maybe a strand of garlic. She's super cute. I used to be scared of these when I was little. I had a couple friends who had these up in their kitchens and I was always like, oh that is so creepy and weird. What do you guys, do you have these? Did you used to be scared of them too? Are you still scared of them? <laughs> I found some old streamer you guys. Right there, you see the ghost? It's black with some ghosts on it. It says, holiday streamer, flame resistant, made in the USA. Again, Amscan, but I'm not really sure the date on it. It does have a barcode, so 80s, 90s, but that was pretty cool. I got this basket with the bat on it. Oh, I love this so much. This is gonna be such a cute little thing to put out and decorate in. I've seen a green one and a purple one, I think, online, or maybe it's black, purple or black, but I'd like to try to pick those up too and have a little set. I got myself some washcloths. Ugh. The lady who was selling this, this was in a tub mixed with stuff and it had cinnamon or something in it, some kind of candle or wax warmer or something. But oh, every time I pull out anything from her yard sale, everything just smells so delicious. But there's some washcloths. Brand new, which is good. <laughs> oh, look, you guys! Can't see the little details so much, but that might work. That might be cute. Put that in there. This kind of stuff reminds me of my mom. My mom used to paint some arts and crafts stuff and there's a specific style of painting that it's called. I don't remember offhand because it's been a really long time, but she has a pumpkin treat basket cat <laughs> that she painted a long time ago. And it's one of my favorite Halloween things. She still has that and I'm glad she does. But these, Kind of remind me of that same like country midwestern style it's just so cute i picked up a couple of those i think the lady made these and then she had them at a craft fair and these must have been what was left over but there's a whole little family of little i don't know little witch and then she's got a little ghost wagon she's pulling behind it so cute look at that fabric 
so adorable. And this is just a little basket with some button wheels. So adorable. Picked up that. And then this one, she's just got some little kids with her. <laughs> and one more because I couldn't leave them all behind. They were just too adorable. So I was thinking about maybe giving them away as a gift or reselling them or something. But there's another one. How cute is that? And again, look at that fabric. That's fantastic. I found a couple of die cuts, you guys. I was so excited. So these first ones, these are masks and these are way cool. So it says copyright H&P 1986. It says, this is a facsimile of a genuine Victorian mask faithfully reproduced since 1899. So Victoria and Albert Museum. So this must just be something that they're recreating and then somebody bought them. There's the lady mask. Hello, how are you? Would you like some tea? And then there was the sailor. Ahoy, mateys! Ship ahoy! Oh, and a pirate. These are brand new. There's nothing on the back of that one, but I'm assuming it's kind of the same thing. But how funny is this one? What? Hello. <laughs> hello, land lovers. <laughs> and a kitty cat. Meow. This cat is brand new. This one's been used, so we can. Meow, meow. Man, these masks are huge. These are so cool. But there are two cats and then an extra, extra pirate. But I found those in a closet I had to dig and that was a fun find. Also in that same closet was this guy. And happy Halloween. Now this is a table, a card I think, but it's got a really cute poem inside. It says, Scarecrow's Jack-O-Lanterns Black Cats 2. Sure looks like Halloween time is due. So get your costume, have lots of fun, and make this Halloween a happy one. So this says on the inside, but it's a little scarecrow. And this says, this is by the Buzza Cardozo, Anaheim, California. That's cute. And he can go up on my wall too. Then I went to a yard sale where there was a retiring teacher and she had a ton of pumpkin jack-o'-lantern die cuts. And this is awesome because then I can sell some of the extras because there's a whole bunch of them. So she must have lined all of her windows or walls with all of these pumpkins. How fun would that be to go to school and then see all these smiling pumpkin faces? Man, it's so hard. For me to concentrate in October. I can't even imagine going back in the day and seeing what it was like to concentrate with a test or something when your teacher's like setting up Halloween decorations in class. So awesome. So cool. <laughs> oh, and these are by Hallmark if anyone is interested. It says Hallmark somewhere right there. Yeah, right there. Hallmark. Then I found this brand new never been used tablecloth cover. So cute. And this is by C.A. Reed. There's no date on it, but I'm gonna guess 80s. Are you guys ready to shake your bones? <laughs> if you are, shake them with me. I got a set of dingly dangly skeleton lights. Woo, it's a party over here. These are newer, cause obviously the lights are changing color and it comes with this big battery pack. I have some vintage ones that look just like this and there's the same kind of like delicate plastic skeleton but these lights are so much fun. So I was thinking about putting these in my son's room. 
because if something happens to these ones, unlike the other ones, I think these ones can be replaced. These still need to be cleaned because they're a little bit dirty, but I went to an estate sale and it had tons of Halloween decorations and I was picky the first time because you never know how much somebody is going to charge you and then they were giving you a time limit because they only want a certain amount of people in the house at a time right now and so my time was up and so I went and checked out and then the lady charged me like ten dollars for a whole stack of stuff and I was like darn it I should have grabbed more well they ended up extending the estate sale for two more days and I said man if they were that cheap on the first day I can't even imagine what they're going to be like on the third day so I went and I waited towards the end and yeah, I got a whole nother stack of stuff. It's like nobody wanted the holiday stuff. The 4th of July stuff was gone after I had gone the first time. And that makes sense because people are probably thinking about 4th of July, but um, did I even show you? <laughs> I was so busy talking. So these are pumpkins and little ghosts. And look at how cute their little stances. Look, you can see his little feet right there. So adorable. And then this guy, he's showing you off his prize pumpkin. He says, look at what I made. I think the little pumpkin's winking. <laughs> so yeah, so I got these super cheap on the third day of the estate sale when everything, I mean, there was so much stuff in that house. There was still a ton of stuff by the time that I got there. Here's another tablecloth. This is, oh, you guys, this smells like cinnamon. Oh, it smells so good. This is a pumpkin tablecloth I got from that same lady that had the little lady crafty things. So that was cool to get. And then she also had this was brand new in the bag. I could take it out for you guys. thought that was adorable. It just says trick or treat. Just a little ghost family with their cat. <laughs> Made in China. And it just says end cap Halloween sign. So this must have just been like a Michaels or a Joann's or some kind of a crafty thing. Check out how fun this snow globe is. It's a pumpkin head with a skeleton body underneath it in a graveyard. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing is so cool. His little bow tie. This was so much fun to find. I'm not a big snow globe fan, but man, that is so cute. Got this cat trick-or-treat bag. He was just so adorable. I had to snag him too. It's just made out of felt. This is like a project you could do at home. Just get three colors of felt. Make that. Make some for your friends. Make some for your kids. Go trick-or-treating. Any of you guys Edgar Allan Poe fans? I found this. This is from a company called Out of Print. They have a bunch of book merchandise. So anything of book titles and that kind of thing, that's what they have. So I found this brand new, pretty cool. Got a couple more things. I got this really sweet apron for 50 cents. They had a couple other colors, but of course I went with the orange so I can use this apron when I'm cooking. And last but not least, I got some vintage Halloween. These are electrical candle holders, lights. <laughs> These are from 1995 and they're pumpkins on candle stands and they got some dripping wax right there, even though they're just plastic, but they both work and they're beautiful. And I was so excited to find this because I haven't been finding much like vintage, vintage stuff lately. So that was kind of a cool find. I did find a couple other things and I'm gonna save them for a couple other collection videos because I think they will pair nicely with those. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul video of my estate sale, yard sale, thrift store finds. I have a ton of other collection videos. If you guys are interested, you can go check those out and we'll see you next time.